The first Planetsmith playtest weekend is finally here. If you want to take part, click the Steam link on your screen now and click the Request Access button. This has been a long time in the making and it marks the end of Phase 1 of development and on to Phase 2, the creation of Survival Mode. Remember, this is an early build, we still have a long way to go, but if you want to give me feedback, come join our Discord where we have dedicated channels for suggestions and bug reports. Link is in the description or on screen now. This playtest is creative mode only, and to celebrate, we are having a building time-lapse competition. To take part, you need to record a time-lapse in Planetsmith of you building something cool, then upload the clip to YouTube and post it on our Discord. Everyone that takes part will get a Playtest 1 participant role in Discord and at the end I'll be picking my favourite builds. The timelapse function is built into Planetsmith so you don't need any extra recording software and it's super easy to use. To record a basic timelapse just press F8 to start and the game will start recording using your current view. When you're done press F9 to end the clip. This will give you a pop-up folder with your time-lapse, but with the console commands you can make much more cinematic clips. Open the console with the forward slash, slash help lists all the commands. Time-lapse mode lets you choose between five recording modes. Time-lapse target sets a tracking point for the camera. It's optional, but required for orbital mode. Time-lapse tracking lets you enable and disable tracking and set the speed for the camera during the time-lapse. Finally, you can also start and stop the time-lapse with console commands. Start time-lapse also has some optional overloads that let you change the video resolution and the time-lapse timescale. Some other features you might find useful are the sun controls, which can be found in the inventory. You can set the local time of day, and the sun has three modes, normal, where it will move, paused, where it will remain still, and tracked, which will cause the sun to remain at the same local time as you run around the planet. In the tools menu, there are four tools to play with. My favorite is the boomstick for making explosions, the laser from Devlog 10, which is great fun to play with, the debug stick, which lets you rotate and flip blocks, and the asteroid wand, which spawns in asteroids to your cursor location with left click, or creates a meteor shower with right click. Don't forget, you can rebind the controls in the options menu, and if you're getting low FPS, you can turn the graphics quality down in the settings too, and the draw distance. Have fun! I look forward to seeing what you create.